Many of my students ask me what do, I, what do I do to the backs of my paintings to make them presentable for, for sale or for hanging on the wall. So I've got this painting here that I've already finished the back of it. And this is how I do it. I attach this um, a wood frame around the back and then I put the D-rings on and wires on there. I prefer to do that. I don't like to drill into the MDF because it's only nine millimeters and it would be very easy to, and quite disastrous to um, have the screws coming through to the other side of the work. So I'm about to demonstrate how I go about doing this. Now this one first, um, I've already cleaned the back and painted it um, using a roller. Now I'm going to um, glue it down. So I, I've already put little little marks on the floor here, on, on the, the back here, and I've got some PVA glue here. I didn't put enough glue out. Normally I would staple this as well, but um, my staple gun is not working today, so I can't do it today. I don't know how we ended up with two paintbrushes there, but it doesn't matter. So as I said, normally I would then staple the ends, um, but my stapler gun is not working. And that's what I use, just PVA woodwork glue. And then I will gently clean up the edges, the, the glue. And I might repaint this as well before I put the um, hanging implements on. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. And then I put something heavy on it and leave it overnight. In this case, I've got a bit of plate glass, which is very heavy. I'm making sure it's all right. So, so next, I'm going to, this is another painting of mine that I've just recently completed. I'm going to take the tape off the back. I'm going to sand it and then paint it. I'll just put the paint out of my way for now. Um, but first of all, I use this. I use a paint trowel, a paint scraper and my heat gun. 
to get the get the um, the tape, the blue tape, and the resin drips off my painting. First of all, though, I will put on a face mask when working with uh, when sanding and working with MDF and resin. You should always wear a face mask. And I'll zoom in. So you can see what I'm doing. So first of all, I heat. And then you can see that it comes off easily. You can actually pull the tape off most of the way around first. I always put the blue tape um, around on the bottoms of my paintings first because it makes it easier to get these groups off. Okay, so just heat this up again. sand it with my sander to make it nice and smooth. I just do a small amount of the time. And as you can see, once you've applied heat to it, it comes off very easily. If I didn't use the heat I can still get it off but it's a bit harder. So I find using the heat with it as well <coughs> works really well for me. rubbish tin down there, I'm not dropping it on the floor. <clears throat> Many people also ask me where I get my rounds. Well, I buy MDF from Bunnings and they will cut it in squares for me to whatever size I want. And then if I want them in rounds, the Bunnings won't cut them into rounds. My husband will do that. He cuts them into rounds and routes the edges for me. Um, if I don't have a around if I have a square or a rectangle I just need to route the edges and 
and just stating the obvious, be very careful of the end of the heat gun. You can get a very, where is it? You can get a very nasty burn if you if you if you touch the end of that with your skin. And always place place it down like that. So I'll now put that out of the way. And next I am going to sand around the edges which is why I'm wearing the face mask as well. If I want it to be fussy, I could, I could go further and scrape more off, but that's really good enough for it to paint. I'll just brush this down. It's that dust you don't need to want to breathe in. And I will just shake my um, comb out the door. I use the foam because it um, prevents scratches on the, on the surface of my painting. So, okay, I will, um, I'd like to elevate this a little bit. Okay, I've mixed the paint up. So, I will use these. Underneath here to elevate my painting a little bit. Okay, that's good. And I've got some paint already mixed up. And it's a similar colour to what's on the back. I, um, I use, I get these little paint pots at Bunnings. They're, um, sample pots that sometimes people have made up into a colour and they don't particularly like that colour. Huh. I've got it on the painting already. And I'll wear gloves to do this because it uh, helps to keep me to clean my hands a lot easier afterwards. So, I've got a roller here white paint on it from where I've, where I've primed my paintings before using them but anyway I like to use a roller rather than a paintbrush because it's a lot smoother
So there, that's the finished piece. So looks quite good. It's a similar colour to, to what's in the front. And the next thing will for, be for me to do, put a square or a, a circle around there and put the D-rings on like, um, like I did with my other work. Um, I will need to clean the edges of um, the resin up to get the paint off because but because it's acrylic paint um, it'll it'll come off very soon but so that's how I do the backs of my paintings so I hope that this video can help someone so thank you for watching and if you like if you liked my video um, please give me a thumbs up and follow me if you I intend to start doing a few more of these bye for now